I'd like to discuss with you um, objective versus subjective reality. And let me tell you something. I am getting so sick of those words. And after doing this video, I wish I could go the rest of my life without ever hearing them again. But I know that I'm not going to be so lucky. The reason that I'm making this video is that I have recently seen a lot of videos uh, by um, YouTubers who, uh, whose, whose opinions I respect and whose, whose intellect and uh, rationality I respect, or otherwise respect, I should say, um, who nevertheless uh, reject the existence of objective reality. And I think before I go any further, I'm going to have to define the, the terms just to make sure we're on the same page. Um, and also, I apologize in advance because I'm doing this just off the top of my head. I haven't uh, conducted any research. I'm not reading anything um, off my screen. And I don't take any pride in that like uh, some uh, YouTubers do. I think clarity and brevity are, um, are valuable and that... And those two values are somewhat sacrificed by this um, more rambling, uh, less directed presentation. And I'd, I also feel like I have to apologize for any, any inaccuracies that uh, may slip in because of my lack of you know, preparation, really. So on to my off-the-cuff uh, definitions of the two terms. First, objectivity, or an objective reality, is one in which exists whether we are aware of it or not and exists outside of our own perception and opinion. The other alternative is subjective reality in which uh, reality is basically created by ourselves. It's, uh, it's based on our internal perception and that's all, all that's real is, is, is what we perceive and what we, what we think is reality. I'm not sure that I'm really doing that definition in justice because, uh, frankly, it just doesn't make any sense to me. So I can't help but feel that I must be missing something. The only way that it makes any sense is if you go the whole uh, reality is an illusion route. Um, am I just dreaming? I think it's the, the Bhagavad Gita that has something like a story about a, a man who dreamt he was a butterfly and then woke up and says, well, am I really a butterfly dream, dreaming that I'm a man, or was I a man dreaming that I was a butterfly? Is life is it just a dream? Or maybe we're just vats, uh, brains in a, in a vat, in a jar, or uh, maybe we're tied up to a computer like The Matrix. Now, don't get me wrong, I liked the movie The Matrix, the whole series of them. Uh, um, I liked the, the Twilight Zone and thinking about those kinds of what-if scenarios. It's all good fun, and there's really nothing wrong with that. But it just seems to me that at the end of the day, uh, it doesn't really give you anything to build on. I mean, if you start with the assumption that life is just a dream, reality is just an illusion, well, where do you go from there? You know, I mean, none of it's real, nothing really exists, so I'm going back to bed. Another category of uh, subjective reality, or the theory, uh, another theory of subjective reality, is that somehow uh, reality is formed by by our, our collective consensus. Uh, as far as I understand it, but does that really make any sense either? I mean, was the Earth flat until enough people realized or began to change their minds, began to believe that it was round, and then all of a sudden it became round? Now, some say that uh, there is no objective reality because we cannot experience it directly, uh, that we cannot have absolute knowledge. Uh, my response to that is, so what? Just because I can't experience it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Just because I can't know it absolutely doesn't mean it's not there. Now, I have personally never seen the dark side of the moon. I think probably a few people have who've uh, you know gone up to the moon and and orbited it and then reported yes there really is a dark side of the moon and this is what it looks like. But you know what? The dark side of the moon is there or it is not there. 
regardless of whether I ever see it myself or anybody else sees it. Personally, I vote for the it is there category. But my point is that the truth of its existence is not dependent on anything subjective. In other words, the dark side of the moon either exists or doesn't exist, regardless of what my opinion is, or what I think about it, or whether I know it personally. So I think it's a useful topic to think about, um, you know, and I think that's why it's something that comes up in like philosophy 101 classes. And so I think it's something uh, that we all have to give some thought to, but then. Uh, at some point, we have to uh, agree that the universe does exist and then move on. Because although it's unprovable, I guess, um, it's one of those unprovable axioms that you, you, you pretty much have to have in order to, to get anywhere in science, um, in, in any kind of deeper, more meaningful philosophy. You have to at least begin with the universe is real. We really are here. I'm here. You're here. The sun is really up in the sky. Well, not technically. All right, it's it's uh, we're the ones who are up in the sky. I guess depending upon how you look at it. But that's just the difference between in subjective um, perception. It doesn't change the reality that the Earth orbits the sun. The the perceived reality of the sun rising in the east and setting in the, in the west uh, doesn't change the actual reality of, of uh, the earth rotating in space. So anyway, that's basically it. I start off as a fundamental axiomatic principle that the universe is real. But since there are people out there who don't seem to agree with that um, proposal, uh, I would really like to hear what some of the alternatives are, what your thoughts are, and explore this concept as fully as necessary before we can, uh, so we can move on to what I think are more interesting questions, really. <laughs>